What's going on everybody? We're back in the garage and we today are going to be working on some patch panels for the firewall. So the firewall's got multiple holes and I want to get those panels made, cover them up. I know you can buy them. I know everyone sells them. but I want to be prideful and make them. So what we're going to do today is do some CAD, get these made, and uh, go from there. But today it's going to be a little different. We're not doing the computer stuff. I do this for a living, so I want to do a little different. We're going to do some cardboard aided design. We got panels, we got pieces of cardboard. We've got boxes. We're going to cut them up, create the templates so that when I get the sheet metal later this week, we can cut it up and make sure we don't have holes in the firewall. We don't need fire in the driver's compartment. So that's what we're going to get into. So maybe I can teach you a thing or two. So let's get to it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. All right, there is one thing though. I want to go over a little things that uh, we did off camera after the last video. So as you guys did, I did a quick update video for what was done in July. Um, after that, I got into and I put the subframe in in the front. Um, as you probably know from a previous video, which I'll link tag up here, um, we had a broken bolt. So I started looking into it a little bit more, trying to figure out if I can figure out a way to get it extracted and see what is damaged and making the subframe not fit. So what I did is my thumb got stuck. Let's zoom out. Um, as you can see, as you can't see, there's a gap in the sheet metal here compared to this side. If I move this up for another way, it's a little bit, it's not as, um, as much. And then I push the subframe up, make sure it's seated. There's a gap in this one. So they're not fully seated, could get a little more, but there is a little gap. So what I noticed is this whole pocket is pushed up. And then when you go into the firewall, there's this big dent here. It looks a little different because what I did was I clamped onto this, pried this out, hammered it a little bit. So there's something happened here. The previous owner that pushed this in and pushed that pocket up. And that's what basically held this bolt in a weird position because this was pinched on the subframe. I couldn't actually get the subframe to seat all the way up because this edge was hitting this ed this lip of the subframe. But I got that pulled out, but it didn't leave that mount. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is once I get that bolt figured out, I'm gonna just cinch it all up and make it work that way. There's no reason to try and pull this sheet metal at this point. I'm just kinda gonna make it work. So that's something to come. Um, in future videos but I wanted to give you guys an update what uh, what's going on there so subframe is just held in with the two bolts on this side for now but in later videos um, I'll get to it more as I I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for that bolt probably just gonna weld the stud in instead of being a bolted connection it's gonna be a studded with a nut I got that can figure it out go from there so let's get to the cardboard all right I have a couple different things so I have some of the factory parts that came on the car that I'm gonna start the template with and then I'm gonna rough it out and then trim from there once I get my fit so we have the original uh, pocket where the ECU went um, on the passenger side. So I want to build a panel there. A lot of people make them out of Kevlar or whatnot. So I'm going to get it out of cardboard for now and then figure out um, probably going to get a sheet of aluminum and put it, cut them out. So we're going to get this template. We have in the passenger side um, I have the gasket for it as well as the box. Um, where the, the harness came in 
and the fuse panel and all the fuse box and whatnot. So I want to make a panel that matches this, the four bolt holes that are already in there. So I'm going to make a panel that matches that. The best thing to do is use the gasket. It's perfectly sized. It's got all the holes in it. So got that. And then the last thing will be the tray where the uh, wiper motor is. Um, so this is port part of it, but there's a little kick out down here that I want to be able to account for. So this will get us the rough start and then we can figure out what we want to cut out if we want to add in portions for bolting and whatnot. So this will get us started and then we'll go from there. Um, what I'm using, standard razor blade, some janky old scissors that are for right-handers, but I'm left-handed, so as I grew up, I just make it work. And lastly, got a pencil and a sharpie. So let's get to it. Um, we'll start with the easy one first, the gasket. Put it down on here, kind of get it squared up. We'll use it portion of cardboard that is isn't bent. And what I will do after I get this down, I'll probably get a sharp straight edge and clean up some of my edges or my lines just to make sure things are nice and clean. This is going to get us 90% there, but what we'll do is get this to fit and then when we transfer to sheet metal we got squares and whatnot. Um, we'll make sure everything is plumb. Nice looking. So, cardboard, got it all traced out. Kind of tra cut it out, and then we can test fit. simple. This is get us a good starting point, but we'll test fit it. So we have the panel ready and this is for this portion down here. There's the original four bolting holes. So we want this panel to come down, fit in here, and go like that. Really simple panel, but it is super functional. And what I can do is I can use this one as a bulkhead um, and get bulkhead fittings for my brake lines and you know I'm running the handbrake inside. So what I can do is do a bulkhead fitting, get it inside and ran to the handbrake and then the handbrake has the ones going to the brake, the rear brakes. So, you know, it's all online system. I have not using the factory hard lines anymore. So really good idea to patch this up, get it waterproofed as well as a good um, base for bulkheads. So this panel is done. So let's jump to the next ones. So now that this panel is done, let's, let's up the uh, difficulty. So clean up our area, trash, those two pieces. We're done with this one out of the way so the driver's side um, the ECU cover um, we're not putting the ECU in that spot um, going forward the LS one probably gonna put it under the dash and just have um, use this panel as a pass-through um, into the driver or the engine compartment so we're gonna start with this and then trace it down, cut it down um, from there. So 
Got a large piece of cardboard. Got the panel. And I'm gonna find, maybe try I'm using the straight edge so I'm not cutting as much. I'm going from there. And I'll trace it out. So I got the panel started. So let's go over to the engine bay and see if we want to trim it at all. So this is that area. So I got the template. I, I did mark the original fastener location. Um, I might use these, these just for just some regular screws. So I might opt to change these to rib nuts and do a nice bolted connection. But this will get us started. Um, it originally had like a flat portion down here to go into this little pocket and then curve up and around. Um, but looking at it, um, it looks pretty good. Um, I might opt to, I might need to try and lower or a little curved up here behind the, the shock that you can't see. Um, but what I want to do now, is I'm going to poke these holes through. I don't want to ruin my shirt. I just grabbed one of my pins. Uh, I'm just going to poke these holes through. Um, just to, if I put it in here and I push the pin through, that one aligns. That one aligns. Little lines. So I think I might opt to arc this a little bit and then take that off. So what I did, you know, all this black area, I'm going to try and take some of that off. To help with the contours of the body, take it off, call it good enough. Try that and go from there. So now I got that removed. Now put it back in. See now it fits a lot better. Readjust you here so you can see that corner. See this corner doesn't interfere up here as much. Follows that body line. And I'm going to try to follow this line here. Screw holes match up. And we're good to go. Panel number two. Wow. Done. <laughs> so, go over to the bench and start on this one. So, this one's done. So we're going to call this passenger firewall. Just marking them. I know the shapes, but good to just have them written down. Again, clean up the mess. Just put it somewhere off camera. And now for the more difficult one. So, I got a nice big piece of cardboard. And I'm going to trace this out. And I know there's a portion down here that comes out. So what I want to do um, is leave space on here so I could figure out that portion. And I don't have, I probably do have the piece that went there, but it's been months. What do I do? No big deal. We'll figure it out. Because one thing you can do is I could take, figure out that portion and tape it on here, but I'm going to try and do it all in one piece. 
and uh, see what I can do. And I'm gonna leave this all connected because I'm gonna show you something else with it too. One thing I'm gonna do, um, off camera, I'm gonna mark this where the location of that starts and stops so I can leave the excess, but I have everything else dialed. So, one sec. Alright, so what I did is I put little sharpie marks where that pocket is, and I kind of just eyeballed how far, you know, what pen length. Um, it was deep, deep um, so I don't have a ton of excess cardboard. So, get this lined up, lined back up, mark those spots, go. Go from there. Like I said, it's very rough, but it's going to get us close, and that's what we need. I'm actually going to do too small. One. Just That'll work. So we got to start, and now we got to make it fit perfectly. Trim off the little edges. Uh, figure out the mounting points that went high, left a little extra. Figure out where that line is where we need to trim. And the other thing, we have the passenger wiper, which I don't know if I'm running still. So that'll protrude. So we got to figure out how we want to mount that portion. So. Let's go over to the car and start figuring it out. The hole. Let's get started. So, looking at the panel, we know this portion is where we need to figure out this wise. So, what I'm actually going to do is two pieces. I'm going to get this to fit in there and then we can come back, trace it on here and uh, cut it out. I'm going to make this panel one piece or as a template, but I'm going to use this as a pocket cut. So. Well, I got this far and you guys didn't see any of it. Um, what you missed? Camera overheated. I didn't catch it. Um, happens. Um, I created this panel. Is what you saw. This was the panel to kind of fit in here to give me a rough outline to start this piece. So I traced it on here. Got it all ready. Cut it out. And then what I did is I formed this panel. I got a bunch of scrap on the floor, but. Um, Put it in here. You got the patch to cover the top. The mounting holes here it follows this. Created a little bit of clearance for the wiper, which I still don't know if I'm gonna how I'm gonna use it, if I'm gonna use it. It's the passenger side I might just do the driver um, and then clearance this so I can figure it out make sure it seats all the way that's all this one is so what we're gonna do is jump in the interior and do the panel where the HVAC was so the next panel I wanted to do was the one where the HVAC came through um, and stuck into the firewall um, so you can see Probably can't. 
there's four bolts or four holes where bolts came through um, and held the HVAC to the wall and then like the AC lines came through here heater lines down here um, so what I'm going to trace out is the interior hole um, I back up I taped a piece of cardboard from the inside and then I can mark it on the exterior here at least getting the pickup points and then I can draw out um, how much added I want for a lip that to seal it on the firewall. So easiest way I thought, my, the easiest way I thought to do it without having, trying to hold it inside. Camera's getting hot again, so I want to get this done quickly and efficiently. So, got my mark of where this is. Um, this is that bottom edge, so I'm going to try and leave that consistently. And I want to come up and follow that with some space. So, let's get to it. There we go, we got a panel. So this will be out, engine bay. Engine side. Cab. It's good enough for now. Um, I'll refine it in the car and then um, when we get the sheet metal, we will have to form it a little bit to make it fit that. Um, I know there's, you can just kind of get some thin gauge and just kind of bend it. So, um, this is going to wrap up all the template making. Um, something you can do in the future is do this with cardstock or some like thick paper. Um, that way you're not dealing with the corrugation. Um, this is just what I had on hand. Uh, so, if you have any comments, feel free to let me know. If you have any tips, I'm all ears. I'm willing to learn more, per se. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about some easy way to make templates. Um, in future videos, we'll transfer this to probably some sheet aluminum. Paint them up, put them in the car. See you in the next one. Thank you.